This is Joe Hodgkinson for Tenacity TV in association with Tenacity Boxing, joined by unbeaten professional Jake Goodwin. How are you doing? Hey, how's Joe? I'm good, mate. Thank you for having me. Yeah, yeah it's good to have you. Um, so we're just talking about there that you've got a fight coming up in July. How's the training been for us? Yeah, it's been really well. So I've still got 12 weeks yet. It's 22nd of July and I'm already ready now. I could go this weekend. I'm always in the gym, always fit, always ready. But yeah, it's um, a bit away yet, but soon come round. Yeah, definitely. So have you got an opponent uh, announced or anyone you're looking at for that? I've not had anyone confirmed yet. I'll, I'll leave that to management, matchmaking side. I just turn up and fight. They just tell me who I'm fighting. Yeah. Yeah. So six and a pro, six and oh as a pro so far. Uh, how are you finding it as a professional? Loving it as a pro. I love the lifestyle. I live the life, me. So I'm always training. Uh, I enjoy everything that comes with it. You know, the, the pro life is very different to amateurs. Um, I knew this when I was an amateur. Anyway, I knew pros got completely different styles. You'll you'll probably know yourself. It's a different style. But now I'm in the pro game. It really is two different sports for the same sport. Um, it, I love it though full on training dropping tickets off keeping a fan base yeah the pro, pro life is is for me I love it yeah so what would you say some of the big differences are then between the pros and amateur it's a lot slower a lot steadier pace you're more you're thinking more the amateurs you've only got three rounds you just flat out you're on it getting shot on it you're looking for who can throw the most really in shortest amount of time in the amateurs is a nice way to put it but in the pros it's slower it's a lot more thinking it's more of a, a game of chess match you know it's a game of, game of chess really you're looking to you're always looking for that next step which makes it slower because you're thinking more and the gloves are smaller so you can't just go in bombarding because if you get it you feel it more than you do in the amateurs absolutely yeah definitely so, have you got any particular goals for like the rest of the year then? So, like, how many times do you want to be out or something like that? Yeah, I'd like to get another four this year if I can. Um, really? Yeah, I want to be active. Me, you're realistically, you're probably going to be free. Probably going to get this one in July 22nd. I was meant to have another before, but the show has been getting cancelled. So, that fell off, unfortunately. But then um, there'll be the summer. And then I should have two back in the year. If I can get a third in, I'd take it. Um, and then that'll get me close to being 10-0, and 0. and then by then I'm going to be pushing on for area title. I want to do all the titles, mate. so I want to start by getting the central area belt, and then moving on to English, British, Commonwealth, and the rest. Yeah, that's great. So do you think that's important then, being active at this stage of your career? Absolutely, yeah. You need to be active. My first 11 months, I had my first five fights, um, you know, I had them really quick. My debut and my second fight were three or four weeks, four weeks apart, I think they were. And then I had Christmas and I was back out again in February, my third fight. So yeah, it's just being active. Well, it's a smaller rounds, just be active. I'm constantly in the gym training. So while I'm training, I may as well be fighting. There's no point training for nothing. Yeah. And then you want, um, how many rounds is it scheduled for this fight coming up in July? The next one's a uh, six rounder. And then after that, I'll be moving to eight rounders after that one. Yeah, because I was going to say, we want an eight rounder before the area title fight to get you used yeah, to doing yeah. the longer rounds. Yeah, definitely. Get used to the longer rounds. Yeah, well, I was just going to ask about uh, your amateur career as well. So how, how was your amateur career? Amateur career, I had a really good amateur. Um, I was amateur for 13 years. 13 year, I had 53 fights, uh, two national titles, I think it was seven Yorkshire titles, like coming through the um, championships, won the senior Yorkshire belt. Um, what else did I do as an amateur? I was at uni as well, um, I was part of the university team for four years, club captain there for two years. Uh, I had a good amateur career, I finished my amateur career at uh, at Tigers Gym in Leeds um, went around everywhere represented Yorkshire travelled away with the Yorkshire team and fought for them when I was a junior youth yeah good amateur career learnt a lot as well got a lot of experience training with England GB coaches army coaches got a lot of experience and a lot of knowledge to take in from 
some high level respected coaches. Yeah. So do you think that all the experience you got as an amateur put you in good stead for turning professional? Yeah, hundred percent, hundred percent. The the pedigree that I had got me a solid solid background, solid base um, to work on and. Give me the, the the experience I need going into the program. Yeah, that's where I learned most of my things, really. Yeah, and then I was just going to ask about the um, the fight of the weekend, Devin Haney versus Lomachenko. Who you thought would win that one? Uh, for me, Haney. You know, if I think if you'd have asked me a couple of years ago, it's Loma. But I don't know. I just think he's past maybe past his prime, and. Uh, Ain is just he's a bit he's younger in he's fresh, he's more I feel like he's got more art. Um I don't know. Exciting one. But yeah, Haney for me. Yeah. All right, well that's great. Uh, thank you for your time, mate. I've really no enjoyed problem. them. No problem. And best of luck for your upcoming fight. Nice one, Joe. Cheers, mate. Thank you.